Today, I'm going to do an unboxing video and give you my first impressions on this particular product. Here in my home studio, I have a lot of spare tripods. So I tried to swap one of them to a lighter tripod that can also serve as a handheld grip for my smaller cameras. Obviously, because I do some vlogging on the side as well. So what is this accessory and how can this be a perfect vlogging tool coming up on Frame 316 Media? As I mentioned, I was able to swap one of my tripods to a friend who has an extra kit lying around in his studio. So he badly needs a tripod but doesn't want to buy a new one and I'm finding a replacement for a $20 mobile tripod. It's a perfect swap though this product was released sometime in early 2019. Here we have the Joby Telepod Pro. Just a side note, Joby is a maker of uh, photography and consumer electronics and also Joby launched the GorillaPod in 2006 and it helped inspire a new level of creativity. But we're not going to talk about consumer creativity right now, probably on a later episode. So as you can see here, it can easily hold uh, any mountable device under one kilogram. So you can see here in my camera, a flash, a GoPro, uh, webcam and smaller cameras of course you can use this as a hand grip monopod and elevated stand or tripod let's see what we have here in the box so just checking out what we have inside so here we have the grip and I know we have an adapter here. So at first look, what I'm loving about this is what you call the ball joint. This is what you usually see on uh, bigger tripods. Why it's so good is that it gives you a 360 panning and a 90 degree tilt that works like this, you know? So let's try to put my camera here so that you can see uh, what you can do with this. I have a... Uh, an Olympus mirrorless camera here. Okay. Cheaper tabletop tripods with ball joints like this can easily fall down either this way or this way, but it looks tight and won't easily uh, move once you lock it properly. I actually have a few tabletop tripods here. It's very useful for filming indoors on the table and able to mount my smaller LED light as well. So I'm gonna put this on the side. So one thing that I notice here as well is that if you have this telescope all the way down, you can easily use this as a tripod like this because of this like leg in the middle. There's a quick fix to it and you would probably get used to it as you are using the product. Make sure you have at least an inch or more a gap over here so that you can use the tripod legs like this. Okay, so this is something that's a bit of a, a downside on this uh, um, tripod, but yeah, I mean, Aside from that, everything about this grip is very useful for uh, uh, bloggers on the go. About the attachment here, it's your standard camera attachment. Though it comes with an adapter uh, for a GoPro, you can practically use any device with a quarter inch uh, at the bottom where you can put your camera and mount your camera. Now let's talk about the grip. It's all rubberized and it gives you more uh, stability. So it's an attractive feature for vloggers. And like the other tabletop tripods like this with plastic finish, this won't easily slide out so it gives you that extra protection because it's uh, made of rubber about the telescoping feature you can adjust this at any height just by uh, turning this part here whether you are filming on a table as i've shown a while ago or on a more elevated space this can give you that added height capturing whatever you need to cover for your videos the height goes from uh, 10 inches to 28 inches and it looks kind of stable compared to the cheaper ones that i've used before Another good thing about this is that you can set this to shoot wider shots because you can bring this as far as this and just bend the ball. And now this is where you see the power of uh, the ball head. It's easy to control this while you are on the move doing your vlogs and shooting your uh, videos. 
So all in all, I like the strength and stability. This is just one of Joby's tripod sets. You can find something smaller if you prefer, but for something similar to what I'm doing, this helps me to focus more on the creative execution without having to worry if the camera will drop or the ball head is not strong enough to hold my camera. The one that I'm actually using right now, I got it for around $20 a few months ago on a computer shop and it always had problems using uh, that ball joint that is not really you know strong and it's not holding my camera tight so i'm just using it now on a fixed location when i'm filming my vlogs now for a few tips on how to use your tabletop tripods effectively before that if you're new here this channel is all about growing your business with video and how do you do that by learning and understanding how you can create content that would drive traffic and users to your platform of course understanding how to do that that is key to your uh, success in your digital strategy, whatever you're doing on your business right now. My name is Robert and my passion is to help you reach this stage in your business, whether you're a small business owner or a freelancer. I post weekly videos covering tips, techniques and tools to help you grow your business through video. Now for today's tips on how to use your tabletop tripods. First, explore your camera angles before you open and set up your tripod. It takes time and effort to set up a tripod and since we tend to be a little lazier about moving the tripod once it is set up, take a few moments to explore different angles and lens combinations for your shot. This helps you come up with an interesting camera angles for your videos. Next, make sure to switch off image stabilization while using the tripod. Image stabilization results in a minor shake that is generated from the lens and so some lens will produce a buzzing sound that can then be captured on your video footage. You don't want video footage with that buzzing sound. Lastly, buy a tabletop tripod that matches your height or is slightly taller while you're sitting down so that you don't have to bend to look into the viewfinder. Once you put your camera on a tabletop tripod, the viewfinder should be at your eye level unless you want to adjust for creative camera shots. If you find any value out of this video, please hit subscribe and the notification bell so you wouldn't miss out on videos like this in the future. It's time to go to work. It's your time to grow. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos.